and use their weapons. It's uh, something muddy. Yeah, it's very mystical. And uh, I love Mickey, but. <laughs> <laughs> It's Friday, and I meet with my friends Bashir, Mohammed, and Hamid, who take me to experience a Sufi ceremony. We leave city of Khartoum behind us as to find Omdurman city on the other side of River Nile. First, we make a little stop to visit Tabia fortification. So the English army came with this boat. Yes. Uh, it looks like something old, but uh, I think it works still now. And this is the Tabia building. Uh, the Tabia building, which used by uh, Mahdi soldiers to prevent themselves from the bombing. You know that uh, they sit uh, from the other side and use their weapons, their uh, their guns, to shoot the English armies. This is the Tabia building. You can see it. Okay. So this is really interesting supermarket, you know. It's so beautiful from inside, you know. They work, they make it really nice, you know. I like it so much. Check it out. This place represents the old cities of, of Omdurman. Uh, the buildings and the doors and the windows. Uh, you can see the doors inside there. That green door. Yeah. Can you see it? It's uh, something muddy, yes. made by only mud. This is a supermarket, its name is Hush, which is something like a patio or like a back garden, backyard of the house. Every Friday afternoon at around 4 pm, Sufi dervishes gather to perform a ritual called Dirk at the tomb of the Sheikh Hamad Al Nil. Sheikh Hamad Al-Nil was a 19th century Sufi leader of Qadiriya order called Tariqa. Sufi ceremony in Durban and all they say is just la ilaha illa and yeah, I hope you'll enjoy it with me. Check it out, it's really interesting, amazing. It's um, yeah, it's very mystical. <laughs> the pace of chanting picks up and the dervishes start to circle the clearing, chanting and clapping as they march. The dervishes repeatedly chant La ilaha illa Allah meaning no one has the right to be worshipped but Allah. Around the edge of the circle other adherents clap and join in the chanting creating magic and almost hypnotic atmosphere. The devotees dance and work themselves into a frenzy while reciting Allah's name, helping to create a state of ecstatic abandon that supposedly allows their hearts to communicate directly with God.
Okay, so if you had seen uh, the end, it was uh, quite intense. Uh, it was a very strong experience. Yeah, it was very, uh, it was kind of ritual, you know, like kind of like tribal ritual, you know. And all these wise men, you know, they they did their thing, you know. They knew what they're doing, you know. So yeah, I still have like mixed feelings. I need to wait to settle it down, but it was definitely a memorable experience. Yeah. First time to be here. Yes. Yeah. And how was it for you? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, liked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. You feel something nice or something? Uh, something funny. Yes. Something funny. Yeah. Is it like you think it's a Sudanese culture or what do you see inside? Mm, not purely Sudanese, but something uh, Islamic, something Sufi, Sufi. Yes. Yeah. Not only Sudanese because I, th I heard about Morocco have something like this also. This is one of uh, Sudanese Sufi. Uh, we call it Tariga Sufia, which called uh, some way how to edu uh, educate Islam and to perform Islam. I say that Islam that not only the regulations you hear about they reflect the peaceful of Islam. Uh, right. Thank you so much. The Suga La Frangi. Okay, Tamam. Suga La Frangi. De hina Burj Al Baraka. Hi. Burj Al Baraka. Al Burj Al Baraka. Tamam, tamam. Mohamed, how are you? Hi, hi. Hi. Ya Burdu. Marhaba. William. Kaif tamam. Tamam, tamam. Tamam, tamam. Tamam, tamam. Tamam, tamam. Marhaba. Tamam. Sarik? Sarik, they call them Sarik. Call them Sarik. Hi. Tamam, tamam. <laughs> From this too? Yeah. I don't know. Dark voice. Yeah. Hi. Wallahi ala musharif. Bas, enta fida, enta aulad miki, bas. No, kalabia kira kois. Hoya kira. Ana 35. Five thousand or four hundred. Five thousand four hundred, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is for the shirt, eh? Yeah. No, no, for all. Ah, for everything. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, check it out. Shopping is done. Tamam, Mohamed. Enta gibt eh? Tamam. Enta mabsut kulu kulu haga? Ma mabsutin ma babil cedid lela. Ay, tamam. Mohamed gale lela mashi ma kawaja. Gibt eh kawaja minu enim ka? Ay, ay, ay. Kawaja men chik. Chik. Europa. Europa. Ay, ay, ay. Enta arif da? Yes. Ay, ay, tamam. شوف شوف هو في ده بناطلين في في أولاد ميكي أولاد ميكي ها عبد الله صور عبد الله ده صور عبد الله ده معانا في الفيديو برضو take picture for me okay صديق تمام بمبر في السودان yes بمبر we use it to sit in on it in the street and this in anywhere anywhere in house Any, also yeah so yeah. it's a kind of traditional furniture how was it ah terbesa hi hi so after shopping we are first thing this time i'm gonna try this coffee because bashir he said the lady makes it in the house they make it with ginger right yeah okay ginger. normally i don't drink coffee but i wanna try it mm, i can smell the ginger it's nice seems to be spicy it's okay it's nice, yeah. Come on. So this is the most famous uh, Sudanese yeah, singer, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. His name is Jamal, Jamal Fafur. Okay. Yeah. This is for young generation, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For our generation. Ah. Uh, even there is a new generation have their new singer. Celebrity, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is he singing about? Uh, his, his lovers. About love, yeah, yeah. Can see his girlfriend, yeah, yeah. But Over. nice things, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. She described her Be beauty. Beauty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, guys. So after the coffee break, it's time to buy a seat for Mohammed's wedding. Hello. 
زيت عندي 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 I don't know what to say, I just love full, you know, so much. It's, uh, it's such a simple food. Like when you take this bread and you put it, you know, and you get a little bit of this sesame oil, and then you get a little bit of this tahina, and then you just get a little bit of beans, you know. This is like the Sudanese staple food, you know, it's super cheap, you can eat it everywhere. You eat it with the bread and you eat a little bit with the hand, you know, so now I have to wash it. As I said, you know, I can have that. I'm gonna take a mango juice and then I'm just happy, you know. Tada! This is my favorite mango juice. Basically, it's a Sudanese way, which means they put uh, milk. In this case, they put like a uh, milk powder and they also put sugar, which is kind of weird. But at the beginning, I was not drinking, I was drinking it pure. But somehow I start to like it, you know. And when they also put ice, it's kind of the ice cream, really, you know, because the milk, it makes it like very milky. I just love it, guys. Like, I can drink like one every day and it's just so tasteful, you know. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I love mango so much. It was a really busy day. I hope you enjoy with me the Sufi ceremony. And I hope to see you another time and in another video. Yeah, this is it. Have a good night and don't forget, I love you. Mango!